Tonight, we're looking back on the 20th anniversary of the Columbia Space Shuttle disaster. These seven crew members lost their lives that day after spending 16 days in space. The shuttle broke apart as it returned to Earth's atmosphere. The tragedy led to the grounding of the space shuttle fleet for more than two years. Decades later, space exploration is at its peak, and the history of this tragedy is preserved right here in East Texas. If you remember this image, it's because it was shared around the world, but did you know it was captured by an East Texan? Jesus Martinez caught up with the photographer as he remembers the day. And this was a, a picture a few seconds later. 20 years ago, Scott Lieberman witnessed history and the making. That, that page is actually from a week after the shuttle accident. But not the kind of history you want to see happen. It was anticipated that the Space Shuttle Columbia, if it re-entered on its first opportunity of that day, would bring it on a re-entry track that took it over uh, from California through North Texas, uh, crossing East Texas on its way to uh, uh, Cape Canaveral for touchdown. Lieberman is a Tyler cardiologist, and he was home waiting for the shuttle to fly over. But meanwhile, back in Cape Canaveral, networks were reporting that the shuttle was running late. And that doesn't happen. Back in East Texas, my wife actually noticed on the video camera, she was looking on the little LCD screen, that it appeared like it might be splitting up. These are images that were captured by his wife. There was really this loud envelope of sound that sounded like a train crashing. And in his camera, he captured the still image that was shared around the world. Very quickly, we went to go look at the uh, photographs and realized that we had pictures of the uh, uh, disruption of the vehicle as it came over East Texas. Images that captured a moment in history many won't forget. New York Times, got the Star-Telegram, Taipei. This was a story from uh, the El Tiempo in Bogota, Colombia. Certainly in East Texas, this is still a story that many people lived through that day and felt it. A story, Lieberman says, will stay with many. And Tyler, Jesus Martinez, CBS 19.